Hello friends and welcome back to my makeup room. Today we're going to do a little bit of a, a fun eyeshadow look. So let's just get started with the base right away. I'm going to go in with my Benefit Professional. Today we're getting ready at, let's see, 1.08 a.m which is very exciting. This is the let's stay up as late as we possibly can because I have a night shift tomorrow. The joys of working shift work. It's really, really quite phenomenal. Next we're going in with my L'Oreal Pro Glow in 201. And of course we're mixing that with my MAC Studio Fix in NC5. Oh, I just put way too much Pro Glow in my hand. Oh well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> there, I've been really quite liking this little concoction I've been making. I've been wearing it to work for probably like the past week when I've been wearing makeup anyways. Do a little dollop of that and wipe the extra on my sponge. And blend. Now I'm going to go in with my Becca Under Eye Color Corrector. This is in the shade Light to Medium. Good. And now going in with my ben HelloFab Bendy Avocado Concealer from First Aid Beauty. This is the lightest shade. Do a little of that. That looks fairly acceptable. Now I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte in 001 Transparent. Oh my god. I just hit pan. I haven't even been able to film my Patrick Pan intro yet. No! Oh man. <laughs> I was just gonna put this in my project because I wanna pan this because I have a backup and I have my hourglass powder, so I don't really use this very often. And here I go, friggin' <laughs> hitting pan before I even film my intro for my project. Well, I guess that's that's very exciting. Oh, good. And I'm just gonna set, I'm gonna set like most of my face. Now, some butter bronzer. This is the shade bronzer with my big round brush. And I might go a bit heavy handed on this. I've always been kind of a scared of bronzer, but now that it's summertime, I feel like I can kind of get away with wearing a little bit more. Because I'm just so pale. But today I put on quite a bit and I kind of liked it. Oh, <laughs> shouldn't have put it there. Just wanted to sweep it across my face to make it a little bit more natural. Time for blush. I'm going to use my little Jouer Duo. This is the Coquette Blush Duo. And I'm going to use the shade... The shade... Tease Me. I want to do a very bright eye, so I'm trying to go with a pretty, like, neutral... Well, neutral for me. Blush. I went heavy handed. Yes, I did. I always go a little bit heavy handed with my blush and then just blend it out a little bit. That's good. 
And now highlight I'm going to save for after, after the eyeshadow so I can pick out the shade. I haven't decided, I haven't totally decided what eyeshadow look I'm going to do right now. So, benefit precisely my brow. I'm going to shape those out. Mm -mm. Goodness. All of a sudden you forget how your brows work. I would just use my Kimmy Brow in the shade 1. I precisely my brow was also in the shade 1. But since we were going to go... Oh. I think I heard some fireworks starting to go off. I'm filming, filming this on June the 30th. So that's the Sunday of the Canada Day long weekend. So there's lots of fireworks this weekend, and I think I can hear some going off in the background. I, of course, am working the whole weekend, so I can't really partake much in the festivities. So I'm filming a makeup look and doing laundry at uh, 1 in the morning. <laughs> I'm going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and then decide what kind of eyeshadows I'm going to use. So I'm just going to... Stick some of that on there and tap it in with my finger and let it to dry a little bit while I decide what I want to do. Back in a jiff. Okay, I have decided what I'm going to do. I just patted out the creases on my... Um, eyeshadow primer. I'm going to go in with the Colourpop Blue Moon palette. I have been so excited to try this. I'm really, really excited. Blues, I love blues. They're my favorite color ever and they always kind of scare me to wear them on the eyes. So I'm going to go in with this. I've worn blues before and this is just so pretty. I really want to make blues work on my eyelids. And I also have some Davina singles. These are brand new to me. And this is from the, oh, what collection? This is the Willy Wonka collection. And I think I might try and go in with that shade. I believe it's Swedge. And I think maybe I might do a halo eye with that little blue shade right in the center. I'm so excited. Okay, let's get down to it. So first, I'm going to go in with my fluffy little blending brush and in this shade, Moonlight. Moonlight. And I'm going to start with that in the crease. You know what? I might go in with like a little bit of a denser brush just to help place down the shadow. This is still a blending brush, but it's a little bit denser. I think that might be that what I want? Maybe. Yeah, I like that better. Because my lord and savior, Angelica Nikvist, Angelica Nikvist, she says, <laughs> and I believe every word she says about bright eyeshadows, she says you have to place them down first and then blend the edges. Especially on blue shades. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to worry too much about blending the edges just yet because I know I'm going to pack on so much more shadow. So that's where we are right now. It's looking a little crazy. I'm going to go in with my Sigma E45. Just a little tapered blending brush. I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with starry eyed and see what happens when we just add that a little bit there. Oh, it just brightens it up nicely. Okay, I'm happy we did this. 
that moonlight was getting a little bit muddy, even though I didn't do too much to it. Maybe it just looks a little bit muddy next to this one. <laughs> just really going into the inner and the outer corner. And I know it's a little messy around the top, but I plan on cleaning that up later. Okay, so now I'm just going to clean that off on my little color switch. I'm going in with clued in. I'm going to go with clued in. I think it needs something darker to anchor it a little bit. Hopefully, it doesn't get too crazy. Nothing's happening. Is this? Oh, there it goes. Add a little bit of a like film on it. The shade is not wowing me. Maybe I just have to build it up a little bit. I just wiped away the eyeshadow when I went to add more. Okay, that's better. There we go. Never did I say I was an expert. <laughs> I'm like digging into this pan just to get a little bit of payoff. Maybe it doesn't like that I had those other shadows on there. I don't know. Okay, now I'm going in with a bit of a fluffy brush. I'm gonna go with, oh shoot. <sighs> Got a lot of kick up, kick up on there. I'm gonna go in with Starry Eyed and just try and sort of even things out. I have way too much product. Oh dear. Wanna go? Grab the Q-tip. Okay, madness. Madness has occurred. I'm gonna take some glitter glue. Well, uh, this is the Makeup Revolution one. Just to create that nice halo. Hopefully. Our glitter, well, I suppose it's more of a transformer shade from Davina, will help us out. Okay, fun part. Now we're going to go in with Swudge. I think I'm just going to use my finger for this. Oh, look how glittery. It's a little chunky, but... And now just going in with my little dark blue brush. Tapping that on the edges. I definitely should have done my eyeshadow first, but 
not to worry. Sneaky, sneaky trick. I'm going to put some concealer on the back of my hand. I'm going to go in with a Q-tip. And I'm just going to clean up. Just take off those little blue bits. I'm going to end up beneath my eyes. And that's just, that's my own fault. I'm just very bad <laughs> at keeping all my shadows in one place. So hopefully I don't look dead. I know I did all that color correcting earlier. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go in with my pressed powder. Just to tidy up the edges a little bit. Make those lines a little softer. Okay, now you may be wondering what on earth are you going to put on the bottom lash line because there's so much eyeshadow on the top. Well, I'll tell you. I don't know yet. <laughs> um, I think I might go in with Starry Eyed again. Oh, you can't see that. Oh, starry Eyed. And hope for the best a little bit. Okay, it's making making a little bit more sense. And then I'm gonna put something in one minute. My water line, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Lumi and just stick that in the middle. Brighten things up a little bit. Oh, she's pretty. She's pretty. It's this nice little, you can't see this, little dual chromey blue. This would have worked on the upper lid as well, but Look at the, it has like a purpley blue shift, that Davina shadow, and I'm really quite liking it. I just wanted to mirror this a little bit on the bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to throw something in my waterline, I think. I hope. Did she die? Did she die? Did she die? Oh! Well, that's interesting. I just dropped... I dropped my ColourPop palette. Okay, you're gonna move. I dropped it on the floor, but I didn't know those little palettes are magnetized. You can pop those little shades in and out. That's very interesting. Okay. It's like I'm performing surgery. Panic! Okay. So... Now we know, be very careful with this, but you can pop out these shadows, which is really interesting. I, if you wanted to put these in a Z palette or just one shade, if you're going traveling or something, that would be very nifty. Okay, now let's tackle the waterline conundrum. I kept thinking of a few options. I could go nude, I could go a lime. I don't think I want the these two. I could go a yellow. Or I could go the nude to brighten it up. I could also go white. Maybe I'll go white. I think maybe I'll go white. I think that'll give it a nice bright pop. I'm gonna go off camera to do this. I'm gonna throw on some liner and some mascara and my little white in the waterline, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So this is the look with just liner and some lashes. Not lashes, just mascara. So as you can see, liner and lashes really, really make a difference. I need to put on some highlighter. I'm going to go glaze donut. Douse my brush in this. And oh yeah, just, just murder my face with a strip of highlighter. <laughs> Nice little blendy blend.
Do I look like a crazy person? Uh, yes. Do I care? No. A little bit down the nose. Oh wow, there's a lot of product on that brush. I think maybe I didn't clean this off enough after I used it the last time. What the heck? There, a little bit there, a little bit there. Some up there. And I'm just gonna do a little blendy blend. And now I have to put some of that in my inner corners. So hopefully we can brighten up our little look. Oh, oh, it makes a world of difference. I think I put too much on that side. I'm a little highlighter heavy handed today. Let's just take a clean little brush. Now time for the lashes. These are the House of Lashes uh, Noir Fairy Lights. And I'm gonna get ready to slap those on my face. You know what, I'm gonna apply my lashes off camera and I'll be back. Okay, and that's the finished look. Do some little close-ups. I need a lipstick. Oh my goodness, I'm forgetting everything today. I'm going to use the ColourPop Lippy Sticks Cream in Bound. Hopefully it's not too, too pink. It's pretty darn pink. Okay. <laughs> and I might tone it down a touch. I'm just going to shear it out a little bit with... Um, this buxom gloss in Sicilius Breeze. It's just a little bit more of a brownie color. Make things a little more neutral. Okay, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye! Oh, also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, because we are all Pavlovian dogs. See ya!